rolling easy back in the easy garage back at you okay busy week here just got back from the nationals finished my second video with the red lines that i purchased and um today i come home i thought i was done with videos and i got another box uh it's a collection i know what's in here i needed a couple cars but i'm not i don't remember everything that's supposed to be coming in this box. So, let's open her up and let's see what we got. And I know, um, I think I'm going to have to move some stuff around and get back to the different background because I can see the lighting's not very good. You can tell it's better over there where I was. But in the meantime, let's, let's open this up and see what I purchased here. I forget exactly what cars they were. I'll give you a little rundown. If you know, I collect the Matchbox models of yesteryear, and this is a old collection of those. I can't even remember how many cars. I'm going to set the box over here. Big box. Start with some of these. There they are. There's a some of the, uh, a couple. We'll get to the older ones later. I can see there's some uh, really old, old vintage ones in there. Let's see what's in this here. <clears throat> oh my goodness! Yeah, there's a lot of them. Holy cow. Okay. We'll go through them. As I pull them out. This is a 1936 Jaguar. Still in its original packaging. Nice. And I think there's... Okay, a couple... A few duplicates. Let's see what this one is. 19, 1930 Duesenberg. And here's a, another Duesenberg. So there's two in there. There was actually three Duesenbergs in this lot. Oh, this is cool. This is uh, <clears throat> one of the cars I purchased it for, 1938. Oh, I can't even pronounce it. This one's cracked there, but I have it loose. I needed it in a box. This is the one I needed. You can see the color variation. An orange and a red. So I never had the red one. I needed to upgrade the orange in its package. And I grabbed that. Here is a 1938 Hispano. I can't even pronounce these names. Very cool. I don't even know where to put all these. 1930, this is a 1934 oh, blister pack popping around me, and uh, it's caught my eye in the collection. The green, it just kind of set it off. Look at that, it pops at you. And that's a Mercedes SS Coupe 1928 SS Coupe. Let's get to some of the older ones, the older Matchbox. They're all packaged fairly nice, and they were all separated there in little groups. I'll be gentle. I don't want to hurt the packaging on these. I buy them for the boxes. I have tons of these cars loose, but the uh, the packaging is what I'm trying to collect. Oh, okay. All of all, oh, there's one, two, three, four, five of these. All these models are identical. Y15, and that is the uh, 1930 Packard Victoria. And that box, look at that, it, that thing's clean. And I had that car. But this is, one of these is going to be an upgrade, I can tell you that right now. 
Okay, so we know what all those are. If they're all the same. If you're interested in uh, any of these, you let me know because all the extras I will be selling off. So if you're interested in models of yesteryear, or you need need a variation, uh, get with me. Oh, and if you're selling a collection, let me know. I'm looking for Redline Hot Wheels, Vintage Matchbox, and anything pre-1980. Post-1980. Nothing, nothing over 1980, please. I don't want to buy all your, uh, your Walmart duplicates. Okay, let's open this one. These are even earlier models. I can see just through the plastic. Let's see what this is. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It is uh this is number 10, Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost. I did need number 10, didn't I? Nope, got it. Okay. Well, there's another one. Another duplicate. And Number two, which is a Renault and a busted, <clears throat> busted package there. And what are the last two? There's another Renault and a better package and a, what is this? 1910 Benz Limousine. All right, pretty cool. I think I got a few of those. I'm going to have to stop buying these big collections if I have most of this stuff. Don't have any of these in these. This is uh, even earlier boxes, I think, and I don't have any. Look at that. Very cool. This is number seven. It's a Rolls Royce, but it's in the box like the match boxes used to come. Let me take it out. Let's see the condition of this thing. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so cool. Very, very cool. Somebody that never played with. Of course, you know, usually the dads or the grandparents would um collect these with their kids buying their stuff. And a, what is this one? A, is it a duplicate? Yeah. Another 1912 Rolls Royce. Very cool. We'll see the condition because... This one I'm going to be selling. You know, these seats always pop out of there. They they just sit in there. But uh, there's another one. This one will be up for grabs because of the box. Or it's open there. The other side's not bad. But anyway, um, I'm, I'm fairly happy with this collection. I think I'm going to back off on some of these models of yesteryears and Get back more into the Hot Wheels, uh, the convention, the Nationals really got me pumped up and motivated. And I'll do a couple more videos on the Johnny Lightnings that I'll be moving out of here. Until then, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Check me out on my Instagram, rolling underscore easy. And stay easy. Don't forget, keep on turning Hot Wheels.